Hello, this is our second video for Key Stage 3 Biology and Science, and we're looking at microscopes. We have a photograph of a microscope on the screen there. That's what it might look like. I'm sure you've seen one of these in school. And we're going to take a look at the different parts, how to set one up, and what cells might look like if we viewed them under a microscope. So we're going to use this diagram in order to label the different parts. So before we do anything else, let's just draw some lines in to show what the different parts are that we're going to label. So we can start at the top there, work our way down. These are the key and important parts that we should be able to name and use in any descriptions with a microscope. At the very top, we've got the eyepiece. Now the eyepiece is the part that you look through. So there's the eyepiece at the top. And the next one down after that is a round knob, which is called the coarse focus. Below that is a slightly smaller one, and that's called the fine focus. And then again below that we have some lenses, but we have a special name for those. We call those the objective lenses, and that's pointing to one objective lens right there. We often have two or three. Usually we can see three on there. Below that is the stage. That is the place where we put our slide with the thing we're looking at. And right at the bottom, there's usually a light source to provide light. And sometimes that can be a mirror that will reflect light that will go up through the microscope. So let's tidy that up a little bit. There we go. There are our key labels. Now, just to mention, in terms of magnification, we've got the eyepiece there. And that usually has a times 10 magnification. Times 10. So it makes things look about 10 times bigger than they actually are in real life. And then there's another part that does magnifying again, and that's the objective lens or the objective lenses. And they can have a magnification of times 4, times 10, and times 40. These are common values of magnification for objective lenses. So how do we then set up the microscope in order to look at cells? So the next part is looking at cells. And a very common thing to look at when we're looking at cells is onions. Onions are very good for this experiment because the layers of the onion peel away very easily. You can use a pair of tweezers and peel away very thin layers so you can see the cells. So in terms of how we would do that, the first thing you need is a glass microscope slide. So it might look a little something like that. And then once we've got that, we would take our layer of onion cells that we have peeled off the onion. That might look a little something like that. And we will place that very carefully with our tweezers, keeping it as flat as possible onto the slide. Once we've done that, there's one more little step we have to have, which is to add some dye. And the dye is really important because it gives color to the different parts of the cell, so it's much easier to see. So there's our dye, which gives color. So we can put our dropper to one side there. And then the next thing you need is a smaller piece of glass, very thin, very delicate, so you have to be very careful with it. This is a cover slip. And we would very carefully place the cover slip over our piece of onion or onion skin, keeping it nice and flat and being careful not to break it. We can then take our whole slide, place it under the microscope on the stage of the microscope and get it ready for viewing. So what would be useful is to have a set of steps for how to set up a sample of something like onion skin in order to see the cells. So the first step would be to prepare your slide as we've just shown. Then we would need to place the slide onto the stage of the microscope very carefully. That's the stage over there. And then we would use our smallest objective lens. So in this case, it's the times four objective lens, which is that one there. And we can just show the smallest one, which is the times four. And then we would use the coarse focus to bring the stage up as far as it will go. The coarse focus. So don't force it more than it will go, but we bring it high up as far as it will go. Then we very carefully focus on our image, again using the coarse focus. The coarse focus moves the stage quite quickly. And once we've got an image, we can then switch to our fine focus, which moves the stage very slowly. 
and we can use that to get a very sharp image of ourselves. If we want more magnification, we can not touch anything, but just change the objective lens to one with more magnification, and then use the fine focus to get a sharp image. Okay, so a bunch of steps, really useful. If you get a question asking you how to set up a microscope to observe cells, that's gonna get you pretty much all of the marks for a question about that. The next thing we're gonna do is actually look at some cells that we might see under a microscope. So here we have two sets of cells. On the left-hand side, these are onion cells. And we're looking at these using high power, the high power objective, in other words, the one with the most magnification. And over here, we've got some cheek cells. And these come from the inside of the cheek and they're quite easy to set up as well. So we can label the parts. Over here on the onion cells, we have the cell wall on the outside. And because this is a plant cell, we know we have a cell wall. So plants only have cell walls. And this is an onion cell being a plant. And then our next label is found in both onion cells and cheek cells. In other words, both plant and animal cells, and that's the cytoplasm. All these labels have been done in the video previous to this, so you can go and take a look if you're not sure. And then down here, this is labeling a nucleus on the plant and animal cell. So the onion cell and the cheek cell. And then over here, we can see the cell membrane of the cheek cells. Now, onion cells do also have cell membranes as well. They are usually just found just on the inside of the cell wall, so we can label it here, cell membrane, and the label just inside the cell wall, just there. Okay, so these are the parts that we can see and we can label, and there in blue, these are the parts found in both the onion cells and the cheek cells, and the part in green there, that's found in the onion cell only because cell walls are found in plant cells only. Okay, so the last little thing to do here is to work out what we call magnification using this little equation here. So magnification, and to do that, we would multiply the eyepiece, the eyepiece lens magnification there times the objective lens magnification. And here's a little table with some numbers in. So we've got the power of the lens, that just tells you how much magnification it has. So low, medium, and high, eyepiece lens magnification and objective lens magnification. It's a simple case of just multiplying the two together. So we have 10 times four, which gives 40. And in fact, the way we write it is to do a times 40 to show that that's a magnification. Next one is 10 times 10, that gives 100. So that's a times 100 magnification. And the last one is 10 times 40, which ends up giving us a times 400 magnification. Okay, so that's it for the video today. We've looked at the, the labels of a microscope, how to set up a slide of onion cells to see how they would look, and some magnification calculations here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.